Hello students, welcome back to Physics with Sabda. Now you are watching IGCRC Physics Past Paper Solution Series. Today we are going to solve of question from paper 2 on topic wave basics. So let's start the solutions of the day. On the screen you can see one question that is I took from the past paper. The question is the diagram shows a wave which label distance is the wave length. You can see clearly on this diagram you have a wave you can see curls and troughs are there and few labels are there A, B, C and D and you need to select which one is the right answer for the wavelength. So let's recall the definition of the wavelength. You know well when you talk about the wavelength in simple it's a length of a wave. Then look at this diagram it's a one complete wave starting from this point this is the crust then it's trough and like this remember one thing wavelength is actually a horizontal distance horizontal distance of a complete wave like uh, the wave is starting from here till this point so this horizontal distance is called wavelength one thing you can see clearly vertical distance cannot be our wavelength so that's why option a cannot be our answer and option D then you have B and C look at the distance B from this point till this it is not a complete wave it cannot be our answer check the last one C C from this point till this point and you can see here it's a trough then you have a cross it's a complete wave so that's why option C is the right answer this is question number two the diagram represents a water wave which row shows the amplitude and the wavelength of the wave you can see in the diagram we have one wave that is a water wave two numbers are there this distance is two meter the second you have this distance it is four meter now what to do in this question which row shows the amplitude and the wavelength of the wave you have four options a b c and d in this table you can see one header is showing amplitude in meter the second one is wavelength in meter first of all you need to recall what are the definitions of wavelength and amplitude look at this diagram a wave is there so what's the wavelength you can see clearly peak to peak distance is called one wavelength second one Another wave you have, you can see clearly this is the reference line or you can say that mean position of the particle. Look at this vertical height. That is the maximum displacement from this position and it is called amplitude. So let's jump on the question. First what we do, we draw mean position of the particles like this. Then look at this distance. This is amplitude. And it is equal to half of this number. You can see clearly from bottom to top it is 2 meter. But you need to calculate from here till this point it is 1 in meter. Look at the second one. Peak to peak but here we have 3 peak uh, value. According to the definition you need 2 conjugative peaks. That is one wavelength. So you can do like this. This is first peak till second peak and it is half of this number it would be 2 now move on to the option in option a the amplitude is 1 meter that is correct wavelength 2 meter that is also correct so finally option a is the right answer this is question number 3 the question is the diagram represents a wave you can see here a one wave is here and uh, the labels are distance on horizontal axis and displacement of the wave on vertical axis. You can see the two points on the wave X and uh, Y. Now the question is how many wavelengths are there between point X and Y. So look at the diagram point X and Y and you need to write how many wavelengths are there. So look at this 
actually you need to know the length of wave from point x here till this point so recall once again the definition of wavelength you know well look at this diagram it's a one complete wave and the distance from this point till here it's equal to one wavelength if you have a wave like this this is half so from starting till this point this is called half of wavelength third one you can see here it's a quarter wave so distance from starting to this point is one four or quarter now jump on the question look at this you need to calculate wavelength from x till y look at this portion what we have this is quarter of wavelength look at the second one this is half third also half and the fourth is quarter if you want to calculate the wavelength from x to y then you need to add all the numbers when you add the numbers you get the final answer is 3 by 2 or in the form of mixed friction you can get uh, this option so check which one is the right answer if you look at the option so a is 2 by 3 b is 1 c is 3 by 2 or a mixed friction 1 1 by 2 and 3 so c is the right answer this is question number four sound waves of frequency 2.0 kilohertz travel through a substance at a speed of 800 meter per second what is the wavelength of the waves in this question it is very clear we have a sound wave and that is traveling through a substance with this information what information we have first of all look at this this is the frequency of the sound wave 2.0 kilohertz then 800 meter per second speed of the wave and finally you need to calculate wavelength of the waves and you have four options now first you need to write information given and required you have frequency 2.0 kilohertz speed of the wave is given 800 meter per second and finally you need to calculate its wavelength look at the data what we have frequency is in 2.0 kilohertz that is not the SI unit of frequency so here you need to change the unit kilohertz to hertz how to do that it's very simple the given number that is 2 multiply with 1000 then we get answer in hertz now uh, this is the formula of the wavelength we are going to use here wavelength of wave is equal to speed over frequency in overall speed and frequency then substitutes the numbers finally you get uh, 8 over 2000 800 over 2000 gives 0 0.40 meter that is the required wavelength now check uh, the options so look at this a is 0.4 b is 2.5 c is 400 and d is 1600 meter so option a is the right answer this is question number five the frequency of a wave is doubled the speed of wave does not change what happens to the wavelength of the wave so in this question we have some conditions and by using that we are going to observe what would be the new wavelength so what are the basic information we have first of all the frequency of wave is doubled remember this second point speed of wave does not change and finally you need to check what is the new wave length so recall the definition of uh, wavelength and its mathematical expression wavelength is equals to speed of the wave divided by its frequency that's the first thing now what are the conditions we have look at this one by one we have like we have to put frequency twice of the first one so you can write twice of f second condition speed does not change means you will write uh, v as it is now what would be the formula of uh, wavelength so look at this it's a new wavelength speed does not change that is v 
Now the frequency has doubled, twice of f. When you simplify this, you can write the new wavelength is half of this v over f. And look at this, this is what? This v by f actually is equals to initial wavelength, that is lambda. So you can replace next like this. Finally, we get the new wavelength is half of the previous. So move on to the options. It become four times as larger. No, it does not change. That is not correct. It's double, not true. It's half. That's true. So D is the right answer. Thank you very much for watching this video. I suggest you follow the playlist of the channel in that you can find all the lessons you need in your IGCSE physics. So keep watching physics with Subter for better results in exam. See you in the next lesson.